Now Nintendo has always been a pro at making racing games fun and look really good. We've seen this time and time again with the Mario Kart series. However, that doesn't mean everything works out right away, because things tend to change or are removed in the end. So what we are going to do is have a look at all the stuff that's still in the files, but was never used in the game. And believe me, some things change drastically. We are going to look at one of the handheld classics for the DS, which is the fifth installment of the series and the second ever for a handheld console. It was released in North America on November 14, 2005. This was the first ever handheld Mario Kart title to use live rendered 3D graphics for most of the objects in the game, including characters, vehicles and race tracks. So as expected, there was a lot of trial and error, redesigns, scrapped stuff and more. Now first of all we will look at the different vehicle designs, because some were changed drastically. We will start with a big cart that most wouldn't even recognize in its beta form, the Brute, which uses a completely different design to the one which is featured in the final game. It went from a car with an evil, teeth-filled grin, to some sort of lowrider out of Grand Theft Auto, which is quite a huge change. Everything about the vehicle is different in the final release. Why they ended up doing this is unknown, but it was most likely because of design reasons, since this different looking version seems to function fine. So the problem must have been the look. Now for our next one, this one isn't that different from the final, but they did make one aspect of it quite different. Because the Tyrant has an earlier design where the claws are 2D instead of 3D, and they probably changed that for one reason. The 3D claws look a lot more intimidating and are more visible than the 2D ones, so that is most likely why they changed the design slightly. Well, it makes sense to us at least. Our next one was also changed slightly, but not for the same reason because the older design just looks silly compared to the final one. Because the early version of the Sipper uses the same body design as the final one, except it has four wheels instead of three. Yeah, I think you can understand why they changed it in the end, because to be honest, it just looks odd. And with that, we will move on to our next little segment. Instead of looking at vehicles, we will look at some character models, too, to be more specific. First up, Daisy because she used to look a little bit different. An earlier version of Daisy's CPU model can be found in the unused cart model main.carc archive. Her head and arms are slightly different and the crown of the used model has some pink on it, unlike the unused one. These were most likely some small touches before the final build of the game was done. Now our other one is from a less important character. However, they ended up changing more with this one. It's found in the same place as the Daisy model. It's an early CPU model for Shy Guy, which is carried over from the kiosk demo. It's very simple and lacks 3D arms and feet. It's also green unlike the final model which is red. Quite some major changes for no real reason. This wasn't a very important character after all. The arms and feet make sense, but also changing its color is a bit odd. However, it isn't always about adding more detail or other stuff to them, because the Goombas got quite a downgrade. An earlier model of the Goomba object is found in the files for Nokonoko cores, Old Mario GC, and Donkey Course. It has a black outline and uses 8 frames, while the final version uses 4 and mirrors them to save space. So as you can see, sometimes things are changed in order to fit other stuff onto the cartridge or make the game run smoother. Kinda sad though that the Goombas got the short end of the stick here. Now we will move on to our last segment, which is the objects that they ended up changing or removing. Now, found in the files of Luigi Course and Donkey Course, which ended up becoming Waluigi Pinball, is an early version of the flippers seen in this map. It has a pretty different design, being blue with a red dot on its axis. It also didn't have any electrical effect in the kiosk demo, simply pushing the players back instead of spinning them out. So it changed in multiple ways, not just its design, but also the effect it would have on the players. In our opinion, it was an amazing change. It looks better and also adds more to the whole map itself. So, good call Nintendo, and maybe this was the reason why the Goombas ended up downgrading in quality. Who knows? Now, we also found two little odd things when it comes to objects in the files, and one was for testing. 
It's a model for the moving blocks from Bowser's castle, which is still present in the Files of Test 1 course. The file name for this model was changed in the final version, so the game crashes when trying to load said course due to not being able to find the model. It can be fixed if you rename the model to koopablock.nsbmd, although it doesn't match up with the final version of the collision data this object has. As we already said, this was only for testing. That's why they got rid of it by changing its name, so the game wouldn't mess up by using it on accident. Now the other thing we found was a weird little tree. It's found in the files for old Mario GC, labeled as Mario Tree NSBMD. It's a render of the tree commonly seen around courses in Mario Kart Double Dash. However, by the looks of it, they never ended up using this one. It isn't seen in any of the tracks as far as we could find. So it's really odd that it's even in the files. Maybe they considered using it at some point, but it was scrapped? Who knows? And with that, we won this video. As you can see, some things were improved, others disappeared, and a couple even downgraded. But regardless, this is a handheld classic. Hey you there, are you going to Dutch Comic Con this weekend? Well great, because I'm going as well! Yes, Dr. Wily will be going to Dutch Comic Con. So come hang out, follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you know where I am, or you can DM me where you are and I can find you. And if we meet up, then you'll get a little, little gift. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more videos, be sure to click the annotations on the screen right now. Also, be sure to subscribe because more videos are coming and include the bell with that. Yeah, the bell's important. And uh, next video is coming Wednesday, yeah!